I have to weld the nut here. All right. Sure, sure. Oh, you need to, that's a good position there, right? Yes, sir. Okay. And we get in the nut, and then we weld that nut there. All right. Remember, you got chocolate that's on. <laughs> Hello everybody, so this is a little recap of what happened. Thanks to the guy you see that was welding, Papo, we got everything set up. The fuel pump is inside the fuel cell. Made a little bracket that mounts the fuel pump along with the OEM fuel leveling system. So that should be able to have the correct reading on the tank. Um, just got, if I have to put some resistor in line, we'll do that, but so far, yeah, something that's compatible with the OEM gauge. So that should be really helpful. So I'm just gonna take it out a little bit and show you what the finished product looks like. This is the idea we came up with. We just basically use what we had, made the bracket. The bottom half is from the OEM pump holder. Uh, we made a little attachment right here bolt on and this section right here is the top of the fuel cell goes to this hole that's supported from both underneath and on top so basically it'll sit like this inside the tank it's not the prettiest but it is functional so today should be a very productive day we're gonna be installing the fuel system in the car hopefully so more or less this is the bracket we made for fuel system. Well, let me get it out. Yeah, so basically this is the whole fuel system. Just gotta put it in. Everything should be in place and just make the new lines to come out for it. So, from last video, this is the additional amount we made. Just had to basically open it up a little bit right here so we can have the spacing for the cables to run through. These are the few lines we're running. And all the fit ins. So, hopefully, today we should have everything inside the car. And we should. So after a little while, we basically have this in. So the shifter bracket cables are all in. I installed the mount so I can make sure I had enough clearance for wherever I'm putting the fuel filter. So, so far this is where everything sits. Nice little slot goes right in between it. Just gotta cut this off or pry this open to take that off. Or even put it on, I don't know, we'll figure that out. But that's it, so, so far, it's coming together well. So we basically finished for the day. I'm wrapping everything up. Just want to give you a little close view. We basically ran the, the fuel line more or less where it's going to be. It's both on it there. I'm going to find another way to attach this section somewhere so we can keep it secure. 
and then we're just gonna run this is the fuel line I run up front I'm just gonna run it and connect it oh where's it fit in oh here you go just run and connect it somewhere over here and just come up here and just connect it right there and that should be enough to fuel everything here then we just start running a few lines so we're not going to finish the back today because we have to get more bulkhead fittings so they're already in order and there you go they just cable just fit right in there nice and snug that should definitely be strong enough because it was already um reinforced so that should be fine so once this is done then we can start loading everything up